the minister here at St. Andrew's Church, which is located in downtown Ottawa. Today, we believe it's important to acknowledge as we begin to talk about our history to remember that we are located on the traditional and the unceded lands of the Algonquin people. They're part of the Anishinaabe Confederacy. And that's an important part of, of the history to remember, particularly when we are talking about our origins and the arrival of the first Scottish settlers in Bytown in 1828, which is when this church began. Um, just a year before the Bible we're talking about today was published. Scriptures of the Bible have always had a central place in the life of Presbyterian people. Um, the scriptures, communion and baptism are, we say that the church is, where, those ha where we have those, we have the church. So we find them in churches, but they are also an important part of people's life and, and their home life. And the dis this Bible that we're talking about today, this early Gaelic Bible that is now almost 200 years old, I find it exciting the way it invites my imagination to go back to those early days, um, settlers, people who had arrived in Canada, this particular family, probably around 1810, um, coming from such a far away country, um, Scotland, so far away back then, Perthshire, um, to live in a world where they might never hear from their family again. Letters would certainly have been slower going back and forth, but, um, but acquiring a Bible, that would be an important piece for their family. The scriptures and the stories of the scriptures, the work of God at work in the world that sustained them in the old country, um, revealed to them again in this particular Bible in the new country. There would be continuity there with the community they left at home and the community they were beginning to build in this, in, in this part of the world now. Um, the Gaelic, I learned some interesting things as I learned a bit about the discovery of this Bible. I didn't know um, until I was doing some of the reading that by 1850, Scotch Gaelic was the third most common language in British North America after English and French. Who knew? But, but that's the history of people coming from Scotland, many of them after the clearances. The translation of Bibles into Gaelic was um, traced or, or linked um, in the history we have of this Bible to, to the Battle of Culloden. So you can imagine um, the dispersion that happened after that. Um, the importance of having scripture in your own language. That's an important part of the Protestant Reformation, um, the printing press, um, but the ability to produce a Bible in Scotch Gaelic, that, that would have been exciting. It, the New Testament version came first, and then later on they had the entire Bible translated into Scotch Gaelic. Um, a treasured part of, of a family's history, something they would have passed on, that they would have read from, that would have sustained their living. It's really exciting to, to think about that. Um, the gift of, of these pieces that, that link us to what has gone before, that point us to, to where we're going, I suppose, in our own lives, and that, that bring us into, into a history. I want to thank you for inviting me to, to speak a little bit about, about Bible um, and to learn about the discovery of this Bible in the Ottawa Archives. Thank you.